All right, hey, how you doing? Ed here. It's a rainy day, it's raining cats and dogs, so what better thing to do than to uh, record a video for you. It's time for an update on the Goose Project. This is Goose video number six, and I am here today to report to you that prototype number one flies. All the doubters were wrong. I got some video to show, so let's go to the video. plane and uh, little uh, whoopsie doos there probably do more to pilot error than uh, any problems with the build um, and as you know I, I'm a beginning pilot so uh, there we got a good landing right in front of me wow that was great the first actual sustained flight of it um, I will admit that I have had many crashes so um, as you can, well, you probably can't see too well in these shots, but uh, the plane has gone through uh, multiple repairs and reinforcements. So I'm not, not going to deny that, but here we go. Second flight, making a left-hand turn around the lawn, coming back, cutting across, attempting a right-hand turn. Couldn't get that right-hand turn done, so I'm turning back to the left and in for a nice little boom. Belly flop kind of landing, but not too hard. plane survived well. So... Um, there we go, success. Touchdown. Yay. All right, so what else do I want to tell you about this? Um, so the reviews that it won't fly from our experts and other friends and, and from the guy that my mom knows at church, they all said it wouldn't fly, but it flies. Yeah. All right. Anyways, enough gloating. So let's talk about uh, what changed on this plane, um, what changes I had to do in order to get to the stage where I flew it. So number one was I had to practice myself on the simulator a lot and you can see still that real life is harder than a simulator so just because you can fly good on a simulator doesn't mean you can actually fly good in real life conditions with a real plane with real wind hitting it. Um, but uh, we got it to fly so that's good. I, uh, as I said, I crashed it several times, so the wheels, let me talk, show you the wheels. Remember we had these crazy depth on wheels. Uh, they worked, the plane rolled along the ground just fine, uh, but the problem was landing. They didn't take landings very well, so within, you know, a couple hard landings, those wheels were crushed right off. <laughs> and I did, I even had a tail wheel there, you can see, that uh, it worked well, the, the plane, uh, you know, rolled along like that with them, and you know, after that set of wheels, I uh, went to the hobby shop and got a nice set of wheels, and you can see the uh, the wheel struts there, uh, the wheel bracing. I just used four pieces of Depron arranged in two different triangles to go hold the wheels there, and that worked fabulously, really nice. But again, within one hard crash or two, those were gone. So. Uh, other things you see in that picture, I had little winglets or little kind of stabilizers on the wingtips. Those were crashed off as well. Uh, you can see the nose of the plane looks that way in this picture. In other pictures, you'll see that I have a couple strips of basswood connected to a cedar disc, which the motor's mounted onto with toothpicks and rubber bands for a motor mount saver. You'll see those in other pictures. Um, so the plane's gone through many changes. After all my uh, crashes with the landing gear, I went to just hand launching, and uh, you can see that oh. still we had some crashes, but on the grass it's better. Ah. Grass is easier on the plane when you crash. And the last bit of video I want to show, there you can see I'm holding the plane up with uh, a straight on view of it. And you can see this version of the motor mount, I have one piece of basswood. What I did with other uh, versions is I had two pieces of basswood coming out and they kind of like go into the foam. Keep in mind this is the plane that uses the wing, full wing tilting for rotation. So that's the, that's the gist. If you uh, missed any of the previous videos, uh, look on the sidebar or search below. You can uh, find a link to the previous videos to see what this whole project is about. You can see here I'm doing some control surface tests. Uh, you can see that the wings are tilting and the tail works and uh, 
one thing I did with the tail is I had to lengthen, enlarge the control surfaces so that I had more elevator and a bigger rudder. So that's what I wanted to show you today. So to wrap up, to summarize, the full wing tilting for roll control works very good. And uh, so now it's just a part process of refining it and changing my prototype number one to where it looks more like a goose. So maybe shortening the tail, lengthening the nose, changing the location of the prop maybe. I'm not exactly sure where I'm going next. So subscribe either up there if you're on YouTube or up there if you're on my channel page so that you can stay in touch with what I do next. Alright, thanks for watching. We'll see you later.